So today, I woke up, I prayed, I went to the gym. I actually noticed that I didn't play video games yesterday. So what I had done was, um, so my regular routine is, <laughs> unfortunately, but I, this is the reality of it. I would wake up, smoke a little doby, and I'd play video games. And then, well, I'd play, so I'm in college. So I'd play video games as I'm in class. As you know, this pandemic, everything's on Zoom. So I'm on the online class of Zoom, getting my attendance, making sure I'm in class while playing video games on the Zoom. As you know, the camera's off, the mic is off. We're just getting out the participation and just taking exams. And so I'd say that I didn't play video games yesterday. It was different. It was different from my alternate routine. It veered off. I not veered off course, but I did something out of the norm. And I can say that it felt good. Yesterday I drew my homie. Um, so I'm a very creative person. I used to, I like the, the art side of my brain. I like to try to balance things, but I'm very good at art. And so I like to draw, I like to write, I like to, um, I like to voice act. I like to do a whole bunch of things. And so my homie's writing his story and whenever we're together, we're always on bouncing ideas off of each other. So my homie, He's talking about a uh, character in his book, in his story, uh, a brawler guy, and he, in, a, in a fight he loses his arm, and it's replaced with a metallic arm, and then we're just talking, and then I, yo, I, I get these ideas, because I, I read a lot of um, manga, manhwa, which is um, the Korean, I, I, um, if, if it's drawn, I like the comics, I love it, um, and I love to draw as well, so in my head, he's talking, I'm like, I'm, I'm visualizing everything, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I see that um it's a it's a magic network. The guy's an electric electric magic user, and and a, it's a knight's imperial kingdom kind of medieval kind of theme where you got magic swordsmen, all that kind of good stuff, mages, and so this gentleman he um he loses his arm with his electric affinity, and so in my head I'm saying like yo, so his arm gets updated with mana stones, and and it helps him to conduct electricity easier, and then and then as you know I watch One Piece, and if you know NL, shout out to my One Piece people, if you know NL, um, NL was an electricity user, and so when electricity is applied to metal, he was able to change the shape of things. And so I'm like, yo, bro, um, with this uh, this electric affinity, he should be able to, to change the um, change the shape of his arm and being able to. I actually just got a new idea right now. So we got the before. I'll show you the drawing. So I got the before drawing of when he had his arm. The after drawing when he has the metal arm, but it's not very updated. Cause you know technology is not out like that. I mean technology is advanced, but um, eh, you know it's 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 a prosthetic, but it's not really meant for combat, say per se. And his, um, so say he got a prototype metal arm and he's able with his electric affinity, he could change the shape of that. Say, say, um, <laughs> say he's going in for a punch, right? A right straight, right straight to, um, to the chest. And someone blocks that. And so now his fist, um, by applying the electric affinity, he's able to change the shape of that. And then this his, his fist now changes into a spear. And even if you block that, it'll pierce through your flesh. So that kind of, we're getting creative, we're bouncing ideas off of each other. And I'm like, yo, and then the, the, the updated arm actually, updated arm has the mana stones in it. So maybe, maybe this one can't change shape as well, but he's able to conduct mana more efficiently. So his output of power, so say this one, the, uh, so we got the former arm that can change shape, but it's only a prototype. And the finished version of the arm, it's actually, um, it has the mana stones like towards the sh right above the shoulder and right um by the wrist. Got the mana stones there, and it's a metal arm. But this one doesn't change shape as easily, I guess. This is more refined for combat, and so I I, I guess that would be just to nerf him. So you, because he can conduct more um mana with the mana stones, we, we, we he can't change shape, but he could he could output more force because of the mana, and um so. Basically, I drew yesterday, as you can see, all all that my brain just I I love I get get me on a creative rant where I could just um express myself, express thoughts, and um just um let, let just go go off of uh, <laughs> we keep a little bit of logic in it, but you just go into a fantasy land, be able to create, and that's what I really that create is really that word that I like, whether it's creating art, and you as you know, art comes in many forms, whether it's changing your voice up to fit a character or fit a scene. 
uh, acting, acting to play a part, uh, cre creating a character and giving them a personality. Um, there's a um, cre uh, creating a painting, creating a drawing, creating um, music. There's a, I, I create, I consider everyone an artist, even if you don't or not. Um, so art imitates life. Everybody takes a part in life. So as you take part in life, you are creating art. You are leaving your mark on this world, whether you know it or not. You're whether it's um the mathematics you do cre uh, preaching to other people creating a youtube video um you, um going about your day as say a doctor the uh, <laughs> the most logical thing you are an artist and how people experience you is is art through the is your is your artwork essentially touching the world and um <laughs> from naruto daydara says art is an explosion so now let's take it even further so art is an explosion you want if, if if art is how you live your life then you want to live your life as boldly as possible and with an explosion what does an explosion do an explosion leaves its mark if there was an explosion there is usually evidence of that explosion in in the um in the scenery that the explosion took place so now um where, wherever you go say you, so um you want your life to outlive you what you've done in your life, you want your, the works of your life to outlive you. So you want the impact of your life to be longer than what your life is itself. And so let me um break that down. So if you're um living a quiet life, no explosion, it's little, it's calm. You don't want to offend anybody. You just you're just playing safe by the book. You're not taking risks. You're not chasing your dreams. You just um you're you're you're, you're need you're needlessly over excessively indulging yourself in pleasure and then that pleasure leads you to have a lack of discipline and so your pleasure and dopamine receptors are full and your reward system in your brain is full and feels like it's done everything it needs to do and you haven't even tapped in to your creativity what you're good at you have, you have no sense of discipline you eat whenever you want to eat you sleep whenever you want to sleep you have no type of work ethic and that leads to a life unlived and a life unfulfilled and that's what we want to stray away from art is an explosion we want to live our life loudly boldly we want when we walk in the room we want people to know who we are and we want people to remember who we are even the we are the explosion itself excuse me we are the explosion itself but even after we leave people remember us coming in and that's what re we really want and so i've been yes i, I drew yesterday and it felt so good and I, and I slept early and, and I only had two meals a day. I, <laughs> and so I'm and then I went to the gym this morning and my energy's flowing and my endorphins are rushing and it's leg day. So you already know, shout out to the to leg day. You got, can't have the chicken legs. All, all my workout enthusiasts. And if you're not a workout enthusiast, listen, exercise is for everyone, everyone. It's so healthy, so good for you. And so I just had to narrate. I had to um get things off of my chest and um so so another very important thing i want to talk about is um so every man and woman has their masculine and their feminine it's it's ha it's half and half men have more masculine well should have more masculine and women have more feminine but what we've seen from feminism this day and age social media um a lot of people have adopted so what we call echo chambers is people in the same space that all have the same ideas that bounce it off each other and no new information is being provided and all these people they just agree with each other always and they don't even think about what they say anymore they're just like okay this other person agrees with what i'm saying then that's it and there's no type of thought process there's no type of um as you <laughs> i was gonna as you know um I don't want to <laughs> see I'm trying not to offend anybody. What I'll say is women are more of social creatures. They're less confrontational. They don't confront each other. So if there's an idea going on, instead of saying, hey, yo, that's stupid. What, what made you think of that? Sometimes they'll try to help someone save face, per se, not try to embarrass them or they'll just stay quiet rather than causing a scene. And and these echo chambers, we say them in men and more than one. And so. These days, things are backwards. So men, the, the women in society or on social media are actually louder than the men. You hear more from women more than you hear of men. You know, how, everyone hears how to treat a woman, but no one hears how to treat a man because a lot of this feminism pushes that we're in a quote-unquote patriarchy. Like, like, 
and and in this patriarchy everything's male dominated and men get all these advantages and women have been suppressed and finding they can make their own money and do whatever they want and men just want to have control over the woman over their thumb and they don't realize that through biology through science through through things that you can actually learn and prove they they want to counter science and then once you have that our society starts to fall apart People would rather, instead of getting quote unquote canceled, people would rather um go with the go with the the flow rather than going against the grain because it's a safer option. And whenever you take the safe route instead of the smart route, we know that'll always lead to problems. So a lot of the good men these days, they'll just take care of their families and they'll stay quiet and they'll ignore and they'll just do go do go about their responsibilities and so the even though you're doing what you have to do by staying quiet you're complying and you know silence is what's ruining these women rather than being child try, tried and challenged they, they they just needlessly think that their their heads are in the clouds and you can and 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 you being on the ground you trying to humble them and bring them back to reality the heads are so far gone in the clouds and in outer space that their ideas are on you can't even rein them back in. And so the good men stay quiet and they tend to their families. And, and there are good women out there. But the bad women that will sleep with. So what, 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 what is a trend of happening in this sex revolution when I can just download a dating app on my phone and I can have casual sex with whoever I want. So what happens is, as you know, um, <clears throat> so let's say hypothetically the average 18 year old, the average 21 year old male versus the average 21 year old female. So the average 21 year old female gets more attention from the opposite sex than the average 21 year old male. If a, a if a, a female of 21 years old and a male of 21 years old both download the same dating app, they will not have the same amount of options. That woman can have more casual sex than that male can, and so this and and women know how to. Uh, women are social creatures. Well, well we're, we're also humans are social creatures, but women are the more social of the two. Um, so. Women have been told, so women hold, are, they're born with value. This is a common thing that, that we know. Um, <laughs> shout out to Fresh and Fit Podcast. Women are born with value. That's why women are to pre be protected from their young age. Their womb is their wealth. And so by taking care of themselves, staying fit, e even just by existing, men will always approach a woman. So these women that have been being approached since they started maturing, since even bef before their body started maturing, these women... Um, have been be approached by men and they had to filter out okay who's who's a bad who's a creep and who's not a creep and who has good intention and who has bad intentions and they've had to be on the defensive uh, if they were taught properly well not even just women are on the defensive and they have to so sort and filter out and so men if you want a woman will not just attract will, will come to you the same way a woman uh, men attract to women you if you have you are a hunter you have to go out and capture your own per se sorry women to, to say to but that women want to feel wanted they want a man to approach them and to give them attention women generally will not women will not chase men men chase women that's how it is that's the dynamic that's how it's always been and due to biology that's how it's, it'll always be you can't just change that Yes, there's an outlier of women that some women will go and approach a man, but for the general majority, women will not approach a man. And if if a woman sees a man they like, they will not approach that man they like. However, if a man sees a woman he likes, he has to go and build up, muster up the courage, and and not appear as a creep and have good conversation, and and find and and make that make that woman to find him attractive by being confident within himself. And so. Um, woman game is different from male game. Male game is can you get a woman? Um, woman game is can you keep a man? Because women always have men coming to them. And a lot uh, these days with the feminism, a lot of women confuse. Uh, if a man wants to sleep with you sexually, that does not correlate to him wanting to have a family with you. Unfortunately, so let me say that again. If a woman... A, a woman game is can you retain the man if the man wants to sleep with you that does not mean he wants to wife you up that does not mean he wants to put a ring on your finger and a lot of these women will misinterpret they'll get a guy six foot chiseled abs the the guy that the guy that 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 gets their their viscous innards wet they get they get the drip drip the, that that whap because of the guy but unfortunately that guy only wants bedroom fun he doesn't want a committed relationship and a lot of these women will push that committed relationship onto that man only to be disappointed and when they are disappointed they go and they blame the general majority they're like okay where are the good men at 
It's not that the good men weren't present. It's that the good men didn't. You didn't find them as attract as attractive as that um that bad boy. The guy who had the guy who other one. So how it works is, a guy will see guys see women. Okay, so guy. Uh, generally speaking, guy. If a guy sees a woman, she's beautiful. He's attracted to her beauty. Woman. Not so much. They they attracted to what they hear. Yep, that that's laying game for men. You have to your mouthpiece, and so women when they see a guy around multiple women, and women find value in that guy, she too will flock towards that guy. Guy and the it's the opposite. It's it switches with the genders. Men when they see a whole bunch of guys messing with that one woman, they will generally. They'll see her as a hoe. They'll sleep with her. They'll, they, they can still find her attractive and sleep with her, but they will not wife her up. And so in this day and age with the feminism, with the women making their own money, with the equality, men can, women can sleep with whoever they want. They've been liberated sexually, their body, their choice. But with the, cho um, the reason why in, in the vetting process back in the day before you got married, your, your father was your father. The father figure was a big piece of the picture. The father would be able to tell, hey, is this guy only want to sleep with you or is he, he want to marry you? Is he here for the long haul? And and in that dating process, the father would get involved and and it's very he would protect his daughter until it's time for her to get the appropriate suitor. And these day and age, um, I'm black, I'm African-American, Nigerian-American per se. I know where I come from. I know where my parents come from. I know my roots. And so I, I was born here in America. But my parents were born from Nigeria, and I've had the the um excuse me the luxury the luxury of being able to go to Nigeria for schooling and being able to see the culture and seeing the lifestyle, and so I can tell that there's a difference between the motherland and in America and how we um how we treat family relationships, and so the the saying where it and it takes a village to raise a child comes from Africa. That's where anybody, your aunts, your uncle, if they see you doing wrong, they could beat you in the street. Anybody can tell you off. Here in America, you're not my daddy. You're not my mama. I do what I want. <laughs> and they, they, you can um, essentially, you can never do any wrong. No one can tell you anything. Even your, no one can tell you anything. And the, it's very problematic because when you have, say, someone, they, um, a lot of people, they've lost their father figures. And mothers will compromise to the woman. Mothers are the nurturers. They're the softer of the two. They're they're they're, they're less disciplined than a man per se. They're they're not as leader like. Even even with the single mother household where they say quote unquote the mother has to be the father, the the mother and the father she has to assume both roles. We've seen through statistics that in through single mother households, um, robberies go up. Um, children are more likely to go to prison. Children are um like more likely to be more violent. Um. That's because you need the discipline of a father. It is necessary. It takes two to bring to bring a child into this world, and it should take two to see that child into being an adult and a contributing member of society. Actually, single fatherhood households are actually doing better than single motherhood households in, in the upbringing of the child. The child becomes a more productive member of society. And when your mother shelters you and coddles you and makes you feel good, you feel like the world owes you. You feel like you don't have to work hard. And I'm not speaking from experience, but I'm speaking from what I've seen. And hypothetically, I'm putting, just, I'm putting one together, one and two together to get three. And if you don't agree, that's okay. That's fine. Um, and this is new YouTube stuff. My name is Zeno Yashu. Like, comment, subscribe. If you don't agree with me, put a comment in the, the comment section. If you do agree with me, put a comment in the comment section. I'm not here to... um. I'm not here to, per se, to cater to you, to cater to your feelings. I don't care how you feel. I want to give you the blatant facts, and your feelings can go. If I tell you the, the um, if I tell you this house is made out of brick, you can get angry. You can, you can, you can, you, can, you could acknowledge it. You could be like, no, I feel like it's made out of straw. You, I'm just here to present the facts. You can react however you want, whether it's logical or illogical. It's all up to you. The ball is in your court. But I'm just gonna. I'm just as shout out to to a poor man's podcast. I'm just here to give the news. And so we um back to the masculine and the feminine and man and woman. What I mean is that we we both have both. But what masculine is 
is masculine, I can do something about it. I take action. That's masculine. Feminine is I complain about it and hope someone else does something about it. I hope that it'll change and it'll become someone else's responsibility to change this for me. As a man, unfortunately, these days masculinity is on the decline. As a man, you go out and you change the world. As a man, you go out and you, if you see a problem, you, cre you create a solution. You try that solution. If that solution fails, you keep trying until you get it right and you change your environment. As a woman, you... You, a lot of women have um, adopted masculine roles, and that has uh, also contributed to the, to the decline in divorce. A lot of men don't feel that they're suitable women to be able to marry. And I understand how they feel. I, I get their point of view. Marriage doesn't usually benefit men these days. A it benefits women all the way. If, if a woman... A woman can do divorce a man at any time and just take his assets, whether she's happy in the relationship or not. Even if she's at fault for cheating, she can still get money. So that's why we believe in prenups. It's 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 just, it's sad and an interesting world we live in at the moment. But um yes, being productive, man, man, man and woman, the um the man's trait, the masculine trait to do things, to take actions, to be able to change your situation, that your outlook on life. This is where the positivity comes in. That's where not being um don't feel sorry for yourself and wallow in pity, but go and change what you can. If you can't change everything, change it a little at a time. Thank you, Jordan Peterson. And all these ideologies come from listening to other people, reading books, keeping yourself sharp. Be as sharp as you can. A dull blade is, is of no help to anyone. But a sharp blade is useful for all things. You can use it to open. You can, a sharp blade, you can use it for cutting food. You can use it for, for gutting stuff. You can use it for opening letters. You can use it for cutting wood. You can use, listen, a, 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 <coughs> a dull blade is useful to no one. A sharp blade has many uses to everyone. And be that sharp blade. Sharpen yourself, whether in one way or another. Become useful to someone. Life is about assuming responsibilities. As you grow, you become, you are no longer the student. You become the teacher. A teacher has to teach. A teacher has to, if you have the ability to help someone, you go out of your way to help someone. You have to offer, you have to be, you have to have value. Your value comes from what can you do for the next person. Even if it's not through something physical, it's through what advice can I give you. You're going through a challenge, I can guide you through it. Make the world better than you came into it. I'm Zeno Yashu. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> and I'm going to keep drawing. <laughs> Thank you for listening, guys.